Hi, this is a quick tutorial on how to reprogram your 1268 controller, uh, commonly found in um, Zone, Star, and Fairplay golf carts, uh, 2010 and above. Actually, it could be in older golf carts, but I know for sure it's in the 2010s. Okay, so I'm going to quickly show you how to uh, um, verify Windows 7 sees the USB to serial uh, converter. Um, then we're going to plug in the adapter cable to the controller. Uh, next we're going to launch the 1314 software and then we're going to change some parameters. Okay, so first things first is we got to plug in the um, cable, which is this guy right here, black cable to the uh, Windows 7 software. And the thing about it is some of these cables, for some reason, don't work very well. Um, and uh, I just want to show you on the screen what you're going to be seeing. Uh, yeah, that yeah, doesn't focus very well. But, okay, so what you should see is this multi-port serial adapter shows up, and then this ports, COM, and LPT both show up. Um, if you unplug it, they'll disappear. Um, notice here at Network Adapters, I'm going to plug it back in, and they'll show back up. Okay, so we know we're talking to our USB to serial uh, adapter cable, so I'll show you on here. We have verified Windows 7 sees it, and we also have the multi-port serial adapter. That showed up under our device properties manager and our ports also showed up. So next we're going to plug in the adapter cable to the controller. Okay, so that's the um, mini amp connector right here and make sure when you plug it in you've got the uh, little tab thing at the top and you're going to plug it in to your controller. Let's turn this light on. Right there, there's this is the controller right here and there's a little black uh, plug in the back little hole with a black plug over it. Pull the plug out and plug the cable into the J3 connector. Let's see if I can get a video of this. So, I'm going to plug it into the J3 connector with the tab up top. Okay. So, I want to show you that. We are connected to it at the J3 connector. Okay, so we've now accomplished that task. Next is we're going to launch the 1314 software. So coming back to the computer here and launch it down here. Okay. And let's see, we've got the 13 sort 1314 software launch. We need to auto detect protocol and connect with the device. So coming over to the options tab, change change protocol or port right there and say auto detect right there. Okay. And it's searching for the... Okay, and it does say protocol is detected on COM2. Wonderful. Okay, so next is we're going to connect with, with COM2. Okay, and this takes about 45 seconds. And what you'll see is down here it says not connected. Um, in about 30 more seconds it will say connected. So while we're waiting for it to connect, I'm going to show you again. Here's how you plug into the controller. If I can get it in there. There's your run toe switch. And you can see it. And it's the last connector on the right hand side. And it's a J3 connector. And this cable right here, this blue cable, you can uh, you make it yourself. Just go to any V zone and, and search for. Um, um, 1314 or 1268 controller cable and it will uh, it'll give you directions and schematics it's real easy to make too by the way okay so now 
Um, we have uh, we have connected. See, it says mode connected right there. Okay. So we have auto detected protocol, and we've connected with the device. Okay. Last thing I want to show you is how to change parameters. Um, let's do the main current limit, field min, M1 Excel, and field map start. These are the um, these are the parameters that will give you the most bang for the buck. So come up over here and uh, right click the 1268-5403 parameters and it will open a new box for you and the main current limit currently I'm set to actual value is 400 so uh, I'm just going to change it to 300 for this video. Um, you're probably set to 300 right now um, you want to set it to 400. Okay. And so if I go, I'm going to switch, put on something else and, uh, and switch back. And you see I did change it to 300. Now I'm going to go ahead and bump it back to 400. Now that's the, the maximum number of amps your cart can draw. And you want your motor and controller fully capable of 400 amps. So go ahead and set it to 400 amps. They set it at 300 amps from the factory for a little safety limit, safety margin, but just set it to 400. Okay, so we got uh, main current limit. Uh, let's do the field min, M1 Excel, and field map start. Okay, field min, field break. Let's see, that's not what we want. Let's come on over here, scroll down, and we're looking for the M1 parameter. M1 field min parameter and M1 field uh, field map start. Well, that's one of them we're going to change. So we're going to change this one to 110. Sorry, I didn't mean to jump parameters on you, but but I just know which ones we're looking for. Um, Let's see, M1 forward field min parameter. Currently, I've got mine set to 2. Yours will be set to 3. Go ahead and change it to 2.5. Okay, parameter successfully changed. And there's one other, the field map start. Field map start. Right there. And I've got mine set to 110. Uh, yours will be set to 80. Change it to 110. And that's really all you need to reprogram your Curtis controller. Those four parameters will get you the most bang for the buck. So changing the parameters, we've successfully done that. And let's see, we've done the main current limit from 300 to 400, the field min from three to two. That'll get you your top end, by the way, the field min. And uh, M1 Excel, this is what, it'll, this parameter will get you over those curbs. It basically, it's a, uh, uh, slow ramp feature that uh, it says go from zero to full throttle in two seconds. Well, we're saying go from zero to full throttle in one second. And the field map start. Uh, change that one from 80 to 110. All right. That's about it. Sorry for the blurry video. Um, and uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks.